Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Octopath Traveler. Last time we started Primrose's story, which is really great because she's amazing and I love her, uh, and we got up to tracing down the men who killed her father, so the left hand man was headed this way. Uh, so we're gonna follow that guy and hopefully we're gonna catch him. Let's go. Okay, so Primrose isn't leveled up at all, she hasn't had any combat yet. So, she's gonna need the, other, the rest of the party to carry her for a little while, but she should level up fairly quickly. Uh, we'll see how we do. God, this game is pretty. Okay, so here's what she's got. She's got a little dagger. That's her equipped weapon. She can summon someone she's a lord, so it's very similar to the way Harnet's skill works, where you can summon monsters and it does their attack. Uh, so currently we only have Moonlight Waltz, which does dark damage, and Lion Dance, which improves physical attacks, uh, and the dagger. So let me just uh, try whacking some of these with my dagger and see how we go. Yep, they are weak to daggers. I figured they probably were. And poems, okay. That answers that. Neat. Uh, Primrose doesn't really have any mass attacks yet. You can get a version of Moonlight Waltz that hits everyone, but we haven't got it yet, so we'll have to wait for that. She also does very little damage so far because she's only level 1, but we'll get there. She's now level 3, so yeah, we'll be leveling up pretty quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, Primrose is out. She needs some leveling. Uh, she is very, very weak at this point in the game. And yeah, she didn't get any level level up experience for that because she got knocked out mid-battle. Uh, we can heal her up with an item or three. Oh no, we can't. We have to actually bring her back to life. Okay, uh, we're just gonna leave for the moment so we can bring her back. I might need to borrow her about a weapon, actually. There is no choice. Oh my goodness. The battle is truly uh... Yeah, let's just flee and... Yeah, we're gonna heal her up and see if we can find a better weapon, because what she starts with is not very good. My goodness gracious. Let's do this. Kinda wish you could dodge enemies and not go into random encounters, like in Chrono Trigger or the Mario RPGs. 
Unfortunately, Octopath Travel is a bit more traditional about that sort of thing. Uh, which is a shame. Okay, so the healing shop is this one. There we go, Primrose is back to life, because that's how sleeping works, it makes you alive again. I guess. Uh, weapon shop is over here, let's just see if we can grab something that helps her out. Um, yeah, there's a couple of different daggers here. Which one do we want? Probably the piercing dagger. Yeah, that looks good. So that increases our attack quite a bit. We can also get her a round shield. Like everyone else has. And uh, maybe some better armor? And the saintly tiara. Okay, that should do the trick. It's meant cost most, took most of our money, but she should be strong enough to withstand stuff now. So let's head on in. Some trade tempest. Nope, nobody's weak to wind. It's worth a try. Victory shall be uh, I think level slash is what we want here. I will cut you down. Yep, level slash is exactly what we want here. Uh, then you can stab someone. Uh, they're also weak to daggers, that makes sense. I really need to get, um, I think it's Night Ode, is the, is the um, Primrose ability that lets her attack everyone with dark magic. Uh, I think we can learn it now actually, let's have a quick look. Yeah we can, let's get Night Ode, deal dark damage to all foes. There's a couple of other, other like, useful things here obviously, but Night Ode's the first one we want. There we go. Uh, I think we might be able to learn some more skills, yeah we can. Uh, let's see. Sheltering Veil sounds good. Yep. Uh, donate BP. And... Cross Strike. There we go. Uh, and we now have a number of support skills we can equip as well. Evil Ward. Increases the party's success rate when attempting to flee. That's quite helpful. Uh, you haven't got any yet. You should have a new one. And additional money after battles. Good. And summon strength. Physical attack strength by 50%. 50 number, not 50%. That would have been way better. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've just skilled ourselves up a bit. And we also have Night Ode now, so we can hit everyone with dark magic. Which is good because characters in this area tend to be weak to dark magic because it's primrose thing. You surprised your foe? Let's try a level slash. Yeah, that worked okay. Uh, then let's try some luminescence. Yeah, that wouldn't break anyone. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to use Night Ode. Night Ode, bring your shade. And yeah, it's just the night version of the hit everyone with elemental attacks thing. Which is very useful. is now level 5. So yeah, she'll level up pretty quickly, as you can see. 
because the actual monsters and stuff are scaled to the rest of the party, so she'll just be a little weak for a little while and then she'll be strong enough to hold her own in the battle, which is what we want. Night, oh, bring your shade. Yeah, I thought so, they're all weak to it. Uh, level slash, maybe? Yep, that worked. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, nearly leveled up again. Uh, she can almost afford another skill too. I think you need 100 JP for the second one. I'm not sure. Might be more than that. Hello. Oh, right, you, you sell stuff. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> the battle is truly joined. I will cut you down! I am ready. Naito, bring your shade. My turn now. Yeah. <laughs> you got more than you bargained for. Da, 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 da. Primrose level six. Yeah. <laughs> it might be three hundred to learn the next skill. No, it is one hundred. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get Peacock Strut. So yeah, that buffs an ally's, ally's elemental attacks, so we can give it to uh, Tressa, for example, and her wind power gets better. I think you can use it on yourself as well, but that might be a bit wasteful. I'm not sure. to use some healing and stuff before the boss battle. Oh, we'll be okay though, we can manage. Empowering earring? Should I equip that? Nobody has any accessories. What's it do? Oh, bust your max HP. Yeah, I'm gonna wear that. That sounds good. Okay, we should be good. I'll do my best. Yeah, you will. Uh, I'm not quite sure what. Uh, some of the old man will probably be good, and then you can. Hit the wrong guy. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave with Night Ode. Victory shall be mine. Uh... Break that guy. Let's do this. And that guy. I'm ready. Okay, then another Night Ode. Bring your shame. The battle is truly joined. Break that guy. And then we can use a trade tempest. Oh, they're still alive, what the heck? Okay, we're good. <laughs> You're gonna need to replenish our SP. We are using it up pretty quickly. 
Primroses gets restored when she levels up, so she'll be okay, but the others will have to heal, will have to use like some items and stuff. Okay, so here's the save point just before the boss battle. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, Health-wise, we're doing great, actually. We've barely taken any hits. Uh, so we should be good now. Let's throw down a save, and then we get to do the boss battle part of this. Southern Sunshade Sands, Danger Level 11. He's going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? <sighs> Master Helganish, whatever are you doing here at this hour? Funny you should ask. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Yusufa! I... I'm sorry. She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut. But my boys helped her get it open. It seems I was too lenient. Is it finally over? I must say, at least her last performance had some life. If she had shown that sort of potential earlier, I might have kept her on longer. Enough. What was that? I have danced enough for you. This was the last night that I belonged to you. Oh, was it now? So some wheels do turn in that pretty little head of yours. Here I thought it a waste as empty as the desert. I saw you for the foul swine you are the first time I laid eyes on you. You would take that tone with me? You're nothing but a stupid whore! You would have died on the street if not for me! You have given me nothing. I have always danced on my own two feet. I have always chosen where I step. Who do you think you're speaking to, whore? All these 
these years. The jeers, the beatings, the dishonor, I endured it all. All for this day, the day that man appeared before me. I need your stage no longer. I dance for myself now. You forget yourself, little kid. But, but I understand. This is just a little show, yes? You wanted to see your master frown. Fine! Very well! You've had your fun! <laughs> if that naughty mouth of yours belongs to me, put it where it belongs, and if you please me to my satisfaction, I will overlook your impertinence. <laughs> Master, go pleasure yourself. <laughs> Wrong answer, kitten. You know what I do with cats that bite, don't you? I put them down, just like that one. It's a shame. Primrose, you were always my favorite. What a waste. Yes, a terrible, terrible shame. The only shame is that I could not do this sooner, Master. Time for the main event. I am ready. Oh my god. I, I had forgotten that that happens to Yusufa. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so yeah, the boss is literally her abusive boss. And we're gonna kill him. Night. Let's go. Bring your shade. Take that, Helganish. The flame guides us through. 
I think we're a little over leveled for that fight, because yeah, that was not very hard. <sighs> oh my goodness. That's what he deserves. Oh, this isn't voice, sorry. You always were different from the rest. The fire in your eyes, it burned brighter than any others. I've seen many a girl in my years, but none quite like you. You fascinated me from the start. Come, Primrose. Won't you dance one last time? Dance for me. Quite the dancer yourself in the end. You won't be needing this anymore. The village of still snow. I'll need to pack some warmer clothes. Farewell. And with that, master, I do believe my debt is paid. Lucifer. <laughs> free at last, my friend. And so Primrose sets out from the shifting sands to a land of swirling snow in her quest for vengeance against the three foul crows. Where this dance will lead her, none can say. Uh, so that's Primrose's chapter one, we've done it. Oh, that was really emotional. Oh my god. I have a lot of feelings right now. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're probably overpowered for this fight now. bring your shade. How about you? I will cut you down! Yeah. <laughs> Here I go. You got more than you bargained for. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, so that's that's it for this video pretty much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for crying, because I did. I don't know if you did too, but I definitely did. Oh my god. That was... that was intense. Ugh. Next time... Oh my goodness, we are headed for... I think Clearbrook here? Yeah, to Alfin's first chapter. So, look forward to that. Uh, then we've got Therian's first chapter. And then there's a lot of grinding before we can do all the second chapters. You can see the levels required for that are much higher. So yeah, uh, next up is, is Alfin, then Therian, then we'll see uh, what, what I can get to next. Probably need to do some grinding, get some levels. Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, I'll rest. And that's it for now. So, goodbye friends. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're not quite as devastated as I am right now. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, I... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>